If you've been working from home for any amount of time, it's likely you have your work and personal laptops sitting right on your desk. And unless you're crazy enough to use the built-in keyboard and touchpad on these laptops, it's likely that you keep plugging and unplugging the dongles for the external mouse and keyboard, and keep ruining your USB ports. Well, that's assuming you have two Windows laptops. If you're a little smarter, or just had to do it because one of your laptops is a MacBook, you may have purchased a USB-C dongle to which you connect both of those devices as well as your monitor's HDMI cable. But you still have to plug it from one computer into another and make your USB-C ports pretty unstable. How do we solve this problem and save your USB-C ports from the disease of being unstable? There are a few solutions. You could just get a separate mouse and keyboard for each of the laptops, but unless you like clutter on your desk, it's probably not what you want to do. Another option is to use a software solution like the one from Synergy. I've never actually tried it, so use at your own risk. My favorite option so far is to use a physical KVM switch. Right now you can see the output from my personal laptop. Now I press this button and voila, the connection switches to a different laptop and I can still use the same mouse and keyboard. And yep, it works well with both Macs and Windows. It looks like you may connect your power adapter directly to it and have it provide the power to the laptop when connected, assuming it uses USB-C charger. But one of my laptops doesn't, so I didn't even bother. Also, this is the best solution I found that is affordable. This works well if you only use one monitor. I had switched to a single monitor that's wider and it's been great for me. But if you're using a setup with two monitors, then you probably want to look for something. Else. Another potential problem is that it only has two USB ports, but that's easily solvable with an extra USB hub. Finally, it doesn't have a headphone jack port, but surely by now you've invested into a pair of wireless headphones, or in the worst case, your monitor should have a headphone jack port itself. And if you're interested in my overall software developer's desk setup, then click the next video. Oh